Well, many rank-and-file Republicans turned out for the Christie announcement. They believe Christie is the right person to take on the Democratic incumbent, Governor John Corzine. Adrian Sapino is standing by in our Newark bureau with more on that part of the story. Adrian? Jim, many Republicans were praising Christie's toughness and his ability to get things done. But the other Republicans in the primary race are not backing down. And analysts say that Christie should not look past the primary. Good. Chris Christie breaks the mold. Um, New Jersey is broken. It needs to be fixed. Uh, and he has the leadership and the guts and the determination to be able to do that. I mean, look, look what happened when he took over the U.S. Attorney's Office. People said New Jersey was so corrupt it couldn't be cleaned up. But he did it. Of course, he's under 50 percent with men. He's under 50 percent with women. And I think we've got a great chance to win. We have a great candidate. Chris Christie understands his state. And he will be a wonderful governor. How do you think he's going to appeal to independents? Um, I, I think that independents are probably as fed up with the state of New Jersey as anyone is. Um, we've had eight years of really bad government, rising property taxes, corruption, not taking good care of the schools. We need a change. Supporters include lawyers that Christie hired as U.S. attorney to investigate UMDNJ. These are critical times. Let's face it. We're in deep trouble, and it looks like we're going to get in deeper trouble. And I think we need a fellow like Chris to lead us out of it. The speech that he gave today had a lot of uh, platitudes about where New Jersey is broken and that he sees a better New Jersey, but he hasn't laid out any specific plans about what he's going to do. And Republican primary voters are really an interesting bunch right here, here in New Jersey. Uh, they want a winner. Uh, they tend to be a little pragmatic, but they don't want to be taken for granted. So they really are, are looking for some policy positions here. And you've got another candidate, Steve Lonigan, who's up, up on the air on the radio right now with ads uh, laying out some slightly more specific policy positions. And today, Bogota mayor and Republican gubernatorial candidate Steve Lonigan picked up an endorsement from former assembly leader Paul D. Gaetano. And he addressed all the attention given to Christie. Well, it's kickoff day, so he'll get his, his day in the sun. And uh, what you're seeing today is probably the best poll numbers he'll see in the whole primary. Lonigan ran in 2005 as well. This time, he has significant funding. He has purchased $500,000 worth of media buys. New Jersey has not selected a far-right conservative like Lonigan for statewide office in modern history. I am absolutely convinced he can beat John Corzine, despite what is reported to be a 70 or $80 million campaign that, that Corzine will, will wage in this state. There are additional GOP contenders, including Assemblyman Rick Merck. I'm actually happy to see the voters have more choices rather than fewer choices, but it is important that the choices be made by the voters themselves rather than a bunch of political insiders. Nobody anoints candidates. Every candidate runs in a primary, and Chris Christie's running in a primary just like a number of the other candidates are. Chris Christie has a very aggressive two-day, nine-stop announcement tour. Nobody takes anything for granted in this process. What people are seeing is Chris Christie's uh, uh, history and his leadership skills. Christie may need to boost name recognition in the southern half of the state. I think that this um, multi-stop tour was an acknowledgement that he needs to get his name out there in various parts of the state, that it's not simply adequate to have that name recognition that's stronger in the northern half. And the person who could be impacted most by Christie's announcement had this to say. My job is to look after the interests of the public, and that's what I'm going to do. There will be plenty of time for debates and polls, and polls go up and down. We'll, we'll worry about that later this year. A new Quinnipiac poll shows Christie ahead of Corzine, 44 to 38 percent. I'm Adrian Sapino in Newark. Jim? All right, Adrian, thank you for that report.